Hello, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I have a few of you joining me here. Uh, Craig and Frederick, how you guys doing today? Um, hopefully this goes a little bit better than uh, the other day. But anyway, um, what we're going to do today, I was at a thrift store the other day, and actually I was there this morning, and I will show you what I got this morning here. And maybe you guys know what this is. I've never seen one of these before. But this is a uh, barcode scanner. This was from like the year 2000. And this company wasn't around very long. But this thing is mint in the, in the package. It's never been opened. It's got all the manuals and everything. But this company uh, is defunct now. Uh, but it was a barcode scanner. They were kind of way ahead of their time. And this has like a PS2 male and female uh, connector. So yeah, so anyway, uh, I just uh, got it because I thought it looked pretty cool. It's got like a cat on it there, and then it's got their uh, logo there. But yeah. Oh, so you had one of those too, huh? Oh, very good. So are these still... Uh, uh, are, I guess there are some things you can do with it still today. I guess there's some hackery on it uh, that you can do. I was reading up on it. Um, but anyway, I just thought it was pretty neat to get. Uh, sorry, the camera's up there. I'm just looking at the chat here. Um, but yeah, so grab that. But the other day, I uh, got this uh, lovely, uh, actually, let me uh, switch cameras here. And we're going to go to the, uh, actually, it's the cat cam because they, they've all been laying on this table here. But anyway, I picked up, I already have one for my uh, cube, but I always wanted another one because I have... Um, my uh, iMac here too. But anyway, so this here is an Apple Pro keyboard. And I got it for a dollar, but it does work. I tested all the keys on it. Amazing, but look how filthy this thing is. And the stuff's on the inside. It must have had some kind of, somebody must have spilled some soda inside of it or something. But I mean, this whole thing is just, look at that. Just, it's all nasty looking. And then when I flip it over here, you can see all the keys are all gnarly looking there and all that stuff at the top, that soda that's inside there. And I've never ever taken one of these apart, so guess what? We're going to uh, figure out something on that right now. But hopefully everything will work. I mean, well, it does work. I already tested it. I plugged it into my uh, iMac here and all the keys are recognized, so I'm not worried about that. But this thing is filthy, so we're going to clean this guy up today. And let's see here. Let me get back to the chat here. I'm going to get back off of here. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you have the same keyboard. Yeah, I, I use it for my cube all the time. And then, like I said, from the... Uh, and, of course, the cats are jumping on the table there, knocking stuff off. So, anyway, uh, but, yeah, I do. I use it on my cube. But I wanted it because I was always tired of moving keyboards back and forth here. And so, anyway, I get all my stuff here. And the cats have been taking this paintbrush all over the house. They, they've they been running with it. And uh, that's what Smirky's trying to get right now is this paintbrush here. See, she's, she wants the paintbrush. So, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be my duster. But, yeah. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, we're going to take this apart. Like I said, I've never popped one of these apart before. I've popped a lot of Macs before. I, I repair them once in a while. More of the uh, power PC machines and some of the newer stuff, but uh, I just do it once in a while. I don't do it for a living. I just uh, do it for friends and stuff. It gets old machines. But anyway, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead and play with that. So I can. I gotta take this part anyway. So yeah. <laughs> uh, classic cat shenanigans. Absolutely, they're Apple's anonymous. Thank you. And let's see, I guess I'll bring the whole new meaning to things go better with cat, with Coca-Cola. Yes, that's right. That's for sure. Like I said, look, at somebody dumped a whole Coke in there. So anyway, yeah, so uh, I think uh, most of these are uh, tor torque screws here. And looks like, let me, uh, I'm going to drop this camera down just a little bit here, get a little closer here, so we're not quite so far away here. There we go. I'm going to move this in just a little bit closer here. There we go. Oh, sorry, smart. Uh, so hopefully you can see it a little better there. 
But yeah, there's uh, looks like about four or five torque screws here. So we are going to take it apart here and clean this thing. And I can't quite see the chat from here, so I will catch up on it here. I just want to get this thing apart and see how bad this thing looks on the inside. Like I said, we're going to use a Dawn dishwashing soap, some soap and water. We got the alcohol. We're going to clean this uh, cable up after we clean it with the soap and water. And if you ever get any of these old uh, uh, keyboards, and sometimes the cables get a little sticky on them. Actually, if you use 100% alcohol and just a cotton towel that works really good that'll get all the stickiness off of the cable it won't hurt the cable it's just like some kind of residue that kind of forms on after a while and also some of the older uh, multi-colored power plugs for like the uh, uh, g3 and g4 or, or yeah the, the slot load tray load uh, g3 imax those cords are kind of notorious for that too but you just use the alcohol because a lot of times soap and water don't do it but that alcohol will take all the stickiness off of it there it's been my little go-to for a long time so anyway, and I have my assistant Smirk here. She's going to help here in her loving way. So what I'm going to do is find a, the right torque tip here. Take that off there. Is that the right one? That is not. So let's go to the next size smaller. There we go. And that's the right one. And we're going to get the little extension here. So we're going to use our little power screwdriver here. Take these puppies apart here. Okay. And i got to find a good place to put these. Uh, let's see here. I will stick them over here because I don't want the cats to run off with them here. Because they will. Okay. So this is, hopefully they are all the same size. We'll find out here. Huh, Smirk? Yeah. You're very helpful, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, got that out there. And let's see what else we have here. Let's see, so we got those two out. Let's flip this over here. Yeah, I went back there today and I found that, but I was looking for some more Apple stuff and I didn't see anything. Um, there's a person that I talked to that works there, actually. And uh, I told them that uh, they come across any Apple stuff, I don't care what it is, call me and uh, I'll be more happy to take it. We will see how that goes. So we got those out. Let's see if there's any more here. Let's see, that is on the inside there. I don't think there's anything. I think that's it on those. Let's see. Smirk. I'm done. Let's see here. Let's see if this will open up here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you like that cable, don't you? Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. I don't think that's right. There must, I think there's some more uh, screws in here I'm not seeing here. Hopefully there's none underneath here. I'd hate to wreck that sticker. Let's see here. Like it clips in here. Let's see. <laughs> yes, Merc. I see you like that. So that goes in there. <laughs> Smirk, come on now. Don't be so helpful, okay? Good grief. Well, it's starting to come apart here a little bit. That, that's the screw for that one. 
this is kind of loose here. You have all that soda in it, it's probably stuck together there too. I'm just amazed that this uh, keyboard works, all the stuff that they spilled on it. Let's see here, so I'm thinking there's something here that I'm not seeing here. Because it acts like there's a screw in there somewhere. So that pulls out like that. Oh good, she's leaving. She's not going to help me now. Good. Let's see. Let's try to get this opened up here. Now there's some screws on the inside here, but you can't access them unless you got this thing apart. See, that's moving there. There's some snaps on it here. Oh, there might be a fucking clip up here. Gotta get this off here. I see it now. I might need to get a, a spudger. There we go. There we're getting. Now we're getting it. There's a clip up here. There we go. All right. So that goes there. That goes there. Okay, and I see there's some clips down here too. There's some clips right here too on the bottom here. So if you guys ever have to take one of these apart, hopefully uh, this will be some help to you here. So I got this part down here. Now there's more clips down here. Push these clips out of here too on this side. All right, so we're, we're over halfway there. So I see some clips here. We're gonna have to unsnap here. There we go. There we got it. Just trying to be careful not to crack anything here. Almost got it. So here's the, this is the top part here. Now this, this little uh, piece right here just lay, this little piece just lays right in here, that right there. So that's the, that's the pretty piece there. I will uh, remove that there and we'll put that back in. Oh, actually there's two pieces. There's a opaque, opaque piece on it too. Let's get that off of there because we certainly don't want to damage that. There we go, got that. We'll, again, we will lay this over here to keep that out of harm's way from the kitty cats. So yeah, this looks uh, fine there. There's nothing, uh, looks pretty good there. Some little, little tiny little pieces there that are, are broke off there, but it'll clip back together there. So that's good. All right, so now, Take a look at this. So now we're going to get the uh, bottom off of it here. So let me see how we're going to do this here. So this is the string relief for here. That actually looks like some Phillips bits there. And I got to see what else is holding this down in here. And there's just a piece of paper there. So maybe we'll take those screws off there. Take the strain relief off of it there. Let's see here. Let's get a, a little Phillips bit here. Try that. Okay. And we'll take this off here. I think it's 
Yep, they have a little bit bigger. Let's see. They have a try. That might be too big. Yeah. That might be too big. Let's go with this one here. Let's see. Yep. Yep. A little bit, a little bit bigger. Okay. Try that. There we go. That's much better. All right. So now we'll take this off. That ain't working. Hmm, maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger yet. Let's see here. What is on here? Let's, here? let's try this one. This a little bigger. Okay, there we go. This thing's bigger than what I thought it was. So that's loose, and let's see here. No way here. Now I gotta see what else is the holdup on it here. post. Well, I think that thing should just come out of there. Well, maybe I have to look at oh, the here. Let's see. there. That's loose there. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, hold on there. No, those are out. There's no screws in there. Oh, there's a screw in here. What the? Let's see here. Oh, I do see, okay. So I got those popped out there, those USB ports. There's a screw that goes through here, looks like. My flashlight here, I'll look at something here. Oh yeah, there is, okay, there's a screw there that holds that in. That's keeping the keyboard from getting released here. There's a one through there. Yeah, I really hate having to peel that sticker off there. It kind of this has still got the original uh, plastic on it too. The uh, plastic that keeps on getting scratched up too. So it looks like there's a screw in there we're gonna take out. So I can see the. Uh, 
opening for it. <coughs> We think smirk. Mm. You be nice now. Don't you be getting in trouble back there. Okay. Yeah, because there's definitely a screw that's holding us in here. I think it's that one right there. We get that out, I think that whole thing will pop out of there. So I have a choice of just uh, punching a hole through there. We're trying to peel this whole sticker off. I might get lucky here. Let's see. I'm going to try to peel the sticker off here. Without jacking it up here. Let's see. to uh, try to get this off of here without wrecking it. It's stuck down pretty good. Yep, there's a screw right there. Well, I think we got lucky at that. Again, we're going to put this over here. And there's plenty of sticky stuff on there, so hopefully it will s still uh, stick down. So let's see if we can get that screw out of there. These are magnetic too, which I like. Now let's see if that comes out now. somewhere. Why is this fit in there tight? I don't think there's another screw in there that we're not seeing here. Hanging it up. Gee, I thought this was going to go a little easier here, guys. Let's see. That one's out. That one's out. There's something here. Take the keys off to get to this. Let me take a look here. See if there's. I tell you, that sure is gross in there. Oh, this one here. This one here. This is a. Uh, it's called the Power Giant. You can go on the description on this uh, channel. You can order one. It's my affiliate link on Amazon. But you can get these. Uh, it comes. Uh, actually, I did a, a review on this. Uh, I got a lot of, a lot of uh, interest in it. But it's a charged uh, via USB, and you get your forward, reverse, you get your lights on it, which is nice. And it comes with all these bits. You get torque drivers, flat, Phillip, security torques, square end, long, short. It comes with a ton of tools. It comes with the charger, but you need like an iPhone power brick to plug it into. Um, there's a magnetic uh, thing that comes with it, but I like this because uh, these here just go on it. 
and the other one goes on the other side and the screwdriver just stays in there and it's also got a magnetizer and demagnetizer so if you want to magnetize um, a screwdriver or something like that you just do it and then you can demagnetize it's pretty cool but yeah uh, they run you about uh, uh, it's under fifty dollars um, I think it's like about 45 or something like that but yeah uh, me want now yeah order one uh, I it, it's off of Amazon so uh, just go to my webs uh, on this uh, video on the description tools I use it's on there so you can order that so anyway uh, lost track what I was doing here so I think there might be a key behind or a screw behind one of these keys here so I'm looking here to see so there's one here that's what's hanging it's holding the keyboard on here I didn't realize these keys are very translucent it's interesting I'm just trying to see here if there's a, a screw I'm going to take the canned air later and blow this thing out You're welcome, Frederick. I like it. I use it all the time. It's great if you work on little iPhones or any kind of small electronic stuff. It works. It's, it's got a fair amount of torque to it. So I'm just trying to see there's going to be a screw there. That's going to be there. Smirky, what are you doing? So I'm thinking if I pop this button off here, try to anyway, I don't have a button puller. Yeah, that screw's got to be behind there. I don't have my little, uh, Usually you can use a spoon to pop this off here. Maybe not. Let's see. There we go. There's the lid. Yep, yeah, there's a screw right back there. Uh huh. See right. You can see this here. That little screw right there. Got to get that out. And there's one on each side here. There's one over here too. And I like this because this is magnetic too, which is nice. So anyway, um, I should pay attention on how this stuff's going together here. Okay, this up here. All right. Okay, screw that goes there. Goes over there. Okay, so got that one. Yeah, let's just see. Oh yeah, that lifts up now. We just gotta get the other one off of here. And then we'll be able to get this thing out of there. So let's see. So this one here is gonna be let's see, probably underneath this uh, six key here, I think. Let's see. We will try it here. Let's see, six key, yep, right behind the six key. And here's the other one right there. It's right there, that's, that you can see right there, it's underneath that six key there. So let's take that out. I need little guys there. Yep. So let's see here. Now, hold on just a second, guys. I have a little cat incident over here. Hey, get off her stick. Come on now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hey, come, come on now. You don't do that, buddy. Be, be nice now. Come on. Be nice. Be good boy. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So now we should be able to get this out of here. 
Let's see. That's loose. That's loose. Okay. Looks like there's another screw in here somewhere. Uh, oh, I see it right here. Right behind this uh, strain relief cord here. Wow. Oh, no, no it isn't. I take that back. Let's take these out all the way here. We'll take this out all the way here. There we go. See what we're hanging up here. In there. See where we're hanging up here. Still, looks like there's hanging up on something here. Let's go there. That's on that circuit board there. There's a nope, nothing in there. Well, maybe that is, uh, let's see. It's got a grounding strap that goes to it. That's out, that's out, that's out. Well, I'm just looking to see. There's one more screw here, so maybe that's what's hanging it up here. Let's take him out here. That's going to be a lot of fun getting back in. There we go, got it up. That's the stress release screw in there. We'll put that back on when we uh, get it all parked there. All right, so I'm trying to figure out why I cannot get this keyboard off of there. It's still hung up by something, and I do not see any screws going through there. Let's see. Caps look good on the board. That's good. Boy, this thing is so gross in there. Well, there's got to be another screw in here that I'm not seeing. That it's caught on. Because this whole... Everything, this whole thing comes out as an assembly. get some lighting for your streams a cheap 20 foot so it should be only about to have on the keyboard or table area better lighting yeah well uh 
I have a, I have a 3000 loom light up here. I have a full spectrum 40,000 or uh, 10,000 loom light here. It's just, unfortunately this time of day, these weird shadows, but I, I know what you're saying. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll get a, I'll get a table lamp. Hold on just a second here. Stand by please. I will get a table lamp and put here. How's that? Hopefully that'll get some light down here. All right, so stand by, please. I gotta plug it in here. All right, let's try it. Let's see if this works a little better here. That's not the best in the world there. <laughs> there. Yep. God, that still looks still hard to see that thing. You know, if this thing is so freaking dirty, let me tell you. Alright, let's try this again here. I don't know if that if that helped any at all. Uh how about I do this here? Let's try this. I'm about to put a little bit more under the light here. Yeah, that's a little better. Since it's, like I said, this is kind of a weird situation here. That's a little better. Kind of see it a little bit better. That yeah, looks was better before. Okay, all right. Let's see here. Oh, what is this here? Well, these are the brackets. Oh. Oh, these are the hinges for this thing. Okay, that's gonna be fun putting back together. See if there's another screw back here that I'm not seeing. I tell you what, they don't make it easy to get in here, do they? That's just a little serial number plate. I don't see any screws back there. But it's caught. On something here. I'm just seeing. I'm just looking in here just to see if I find anything here that's but I don't see any uh I'm looking down through here thing. I don't see any more screws going down through here. Yeah. 
is strange. Uh, one dollar. At, at the price is right. Oh, it'll survive. I'm just, uh, it's just, uh, Probably something real simple here that we're overlooking here. I'm just looking on the underneath side through all the dirt here. And I don't see anything underneath of it here. Unless it's caught underneath this uh, ledge here. I don't think so. Nope. I don't see any other uh, stuff on it here. I just, for life, they can't figure out what's that hooked on here. That just looks all off the back there. And that's off of there. <clears throat> Feels like it's in the center here somewhere. Yeah, I know. It's uh, I know. I just I was digging through the keyboards and I saw this. as, hey, I'm snagging this guy because I needed another one to kind of go with my equipment here. Yeah, I just the wiggles in here. Clipped in there, and I'm just not seeing it. Like I said, these two screws are out that I saw going through it. I see the little string right there. That's it. Something in the center here that it's hooking on. Got to be another screw in here that I'm just not seeing. I don't see any little standoffs in here. That's all free there. That's what holds that little piece on here. So I think I can think maybe there's a screw underneath that Apple logo. Let's see here. Let's see, so right here, this one here. Huh? Yes, there's another screw right there underneath that Apple logo. Right there. Good grief. I thought I had them all out of there. Get in the right thing here, Dave. All right, let's see this kind of turn a little bit. These are very, very tiny little guys here. Let's go over here with this one here. Okay. All right, now let's see if it lifts out. Ah, look at that. 
Lifts right out of there now. No problem. Look at the look at the crud on this thing. It's even all over this thing. Holy cow, they must have spilled a coke or something in there for sure. The board looks okay. There's uh, this is these have the out out switches on them you can see right there let me turn this so you can read it here it's got the alps keys on it yeah look at that so anyway wow this thing is so filthy i think what i'm going to wind up doing is just pulling all these keys off of this thing and this thing is so gnarly looking back here. Hey, Snick, or Reby, don't be uh, helping me here. I wanna... Hey, uh, we don't do that there, okay? All right, thank you. All right. So I'm thinking... <laughs> Snick, you don't do that, buddy. Yeah, you don't do that. Hey, Snick, do that. That's not nice. Come on now, be a good boy. So anyway, uh, yeah, boy, all these uh, pieces here. This thing needs a bath. So getting all the acrylic pieces over here and I think what we're going to do is I think I will take uh, let me see here This is a looks like this is a piece of aluminum on here, right here. So I'm gonna take that off of there. Oh, but I, this looks better without that stupid light on here. Let's see. No, nope. that looks better or worse. I guess it looks a little better. So let's take. Fortunately, I have another keyboard to look look at uh, when I put this thing back together. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these keys off because it is just so so bad behind there. Um, since I got it to this part here, we'll just take it off here. Fortunately, these come off pretty easy if you just pull them straight up there. Show you how gnarly this thing looks when we get it all apart. We run this out of the faucet. Okay, go. Just don't want to break anything. As long as you pull up evenly on them, they'll be fine. Hard part taking all these off of here. Okay. Well, it'll be easier to uh, put it back together in terms of. Uh, 
this here, I'm going to put the screws back into it to attach the case all back together. In this matter is snapping down all the keys here. Man, there's a lot of keys on this. It'll be easier to put them on and take them off, that's for sure. And I think what I'll do is while I'm taking these off, let me get a little uh, water here. I'm going to put a little soap and water, let these soak as I take them off here to get them all cleaned up here. So um, I'll be right back and just get some water here. Guys, um, I have another. I'm gonna go out and get, uh, go out in the garage, get my uh, spotlight, and I will hook it up, and that should illuminate this a little bit better. I don't know why I have such a shadow over here because you basically get to wear sunglasses in here right now. So let me just put these in here, let these soak, warm soapy water, and uh, let me uh, get these all popped off of here. Let's see. Actually, let me go get. I'm gonna go get that uh, spotlight here, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna move this here back out of the way. Put that back over here. And I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab it real fast here. Okay, back guys. Sorry, I apologize. All right, this should make a world of difference here, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, let's try this here. All right. Yeah. Oh, let me see here. Eey, looks terrible. Let's see. Getting this all clamped up here, our high-tech uh, lighting here. Okay. All right. Hopefully, that looks a little better. I think it's a little better. Kind of cast a shadow off of it there. Oh, which key was it under? Um, it was under the, uh, well, 
is right here. There's the L and the parentheses. I mean, there you go. It was underneath this key right here. That was the. Uh, turn it this way so you can see it there. J K L, and then, yeah, M. All right. So, all right. So now, we will uh, continue taking keys off of it here. That's for key. Yep. Gee, I think I should have did a video on this rather than do a live stream. I didn't know uh, <laughs> what I was getting myself into here. But these pop off pretty easily here. Gosh, there's, there's staples underneath here. <laughs> I'll show you all this stuff that's underneath this keyboard. I mean, I wonder how many people have used this thing. But the, uh, as far as the printed numbers, they look fine. They're not really worn off. They look pretty darn good, pretty crisp. You, even better when we get all the uh, crud off of it here. So we're just letting it do its thing here. So my hope says I'll take these keys off and then I'll take the screws out of this back plate and that should uh, let everything drop up, drop down and that way we can clean underneath. I mean, it's just everywhere that, uh, that whatever they spilled on it. But just over the years, all of the um, dust, cat hair, dog hair, whatever, buzz, staples, up here now and then we just have to do the, the merit keypad and then we'll be good. Okay. This is the uh, Second time I've only ever tore a keyboard down. The other one I did was my um, um, Apple II extended keyboard. I did a video on that because I wanted to retro bright it. So I went ahead and took all the uh, keys off of it because I needed to clean those up as well. And but it was it was actually pretty clean. It wasn't nothing like this. That's for sure. Here we go. More paper clips. Wow. Crazy. What do we got here? There's a few hooks under there. Okay. And Smurfy is very interested in what I'm doing here. She's, I don't know if you can see her, she's, she's on the chair here. Water is actually kind of turning not black, but it's definitely getting kind of grungy looking. Just letting these things soak in there. And anyway, uh, on the uh, 
Mac Plus, I did get the blue SCSI card ordered for that. And that's going to be sent over to Steve at Mac84. And he's going to put it together for me. Not that I can't, I just, I'm just lazy. And anyway, uh, and he's also going to program it and everything for me. And then we will have a much quicker Mac Plus. All right, so this is um, all the keys off of it there. But there are staples on here. I will point to them. So like here's a, here's a staple right, get that closer to you there. There's a staple there. There's a staple there. There's a staple. Get this lined up. Here we go. Staple right there. About three different, there's three staples on this thing. And the thing is just absolutely, look at all this cat hair and stuff on there. Fuzz, dog hair, all that stuff. That should be clear. That's all brown, all the junk on it. So yeah, so we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this apart here and, uh, and dump this upside down, get all the staples off of it. I don't want anybody, anybody to step on those. And then what we're gonna do is there are some screws in here. See what we can do. Wow, that is so dirty. So I'm going to use some. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to use some canned air. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute the mic. I'm go. I'm going to go in another room here. I'll be right back. I'm going to blow it off for the air. Okay, I'm back now. So anyway, I blew up the air. Looks a whole lot better there, doesn't it? Still gotta clean it up a little bit, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna kinda go through and just do a little housekeeping on it here. Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure all these are down in there. So can soak in that water to get all that grunge off of them there. Better put the uh, space bar in there too. So yeah, so uh, what do you think, Smirky? Hmm? What do you think, Smirk? Here we go. Wash it up here. All this stuff is on top here. I better I'm have to get a cute. To, I want to get my paintbrush here. And that Smirky is, uh, as you can see, she, uh, she's got to get her nose into everything here. I'm just getting the crud off of it here. Now I'm going to wash it off here. It's just all kinds of, kind of just junk in there. 
and then we'll wash all the coke off of it here. Okay. All right, that's smart. You want to plate that? You want to go plate that? Here, let's go plate that over there. Okay, that'll keep her busy. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna work on this now. Okay. This side, huh? Still might take that circuit board off of it to get to that some of that stuff. You guys are finding this uh, somewhat interesting. Like I said, I've never had, I've never taken one of these apart. And then we're gonna do some house cleaning. I have to get some Q-tips here. And get this washed up really good here. It is really, really grungy. Right behind here too. Yeah, it's kind of a yeah. It's got to be some type of soft drink or something because it's really stuck on there pretty good. It's just on the plastic, but it, it comes off the soap and water. I'm gonna have to go get some uh, Q-tips here to get in there and really get all that stuff off of there. It definitely looks a lot better than it did. And this stuff will wash up real easy. That's not a problem. Let's get this thing looking good again. Let me look at the chat here. Oh, let's see here. Finding staples is a good compared to finding some unwanted hair. Well, I've had, there was hair in there too. And then, uh, okay, I'll check your channel out. Uh, let's see, I have to get more videos up. My lack of enthusiasm, enthusiasm is slowing me down at the moment. I'm too fuzzy with descriptions and editing. My skills are good. Apple Anonymous, all right, I'm your 27th sub. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get my, uh, I'm gonna get my electric toothbrush. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I usually do. to light up that Apple logo before you reassemble it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that'll be on another video. Uh, I'll have to figure that one out. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to get my little, uh, my little electric toothbrush here. I'll be right back here. This is not the one that I brush my teeth with. I was I like to use these electric ones to clean up uh, circuit boards and stuff. Makes life so much easier. You don't have to do any effort. You just let it do all the work here. And you can get all around the little nooks and crannies here. And like I said, you don't have to bear down on it. If you get like um, some. Uh, Acid corrosion, like say in a computer, um, this is a really good way of uh, cleaning it up. And we'll dry this really good when we're all done. I'm not too worried about it here. You see how nice that looks already there. Yes, Smurky, I know you're just uh, getting all excited, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Some more stuff on her smirk. There we go. Yep. Watch out, Smurky. Yep. Getting all that stuff off her smirk. Yeah. Okay. 
working on that. It's a little bit cleaned up there. Yeah, this is uh, how I clean a lot of parts. I just um, makes it a lot easier, let me tell you. You use a regular mechanical toothbrush too, but this just a uh, lot less effort. You just let it do all its work. If you miss some spots, you just go back and hit it again. So I, use, I just kind of take and go back and wipe it off here a little bit. go to the next uh, stage here that looks pretty good there let's do the next one here and what we do is we just go with the canned air too and hit it a couple times and all these little hooks and stuff in here Hair, all these here. The uh, key travel should be better too. Um, not that it was, like I said, wasn't any problem before. But. slowly. Like I said, some of these are a lot worse than others. The ones that are really bad are to the midsection here. And I just take and kind of take and go through like this here. Go this way. I just go this down this row first. side over here. A lot of hair in here. Eek. And I will use my canned air to blow all this crud off the board here, and I'll show you what it looks like here. And if you guys have never seen it before, go to a uh, J. Rye's uh, channel, House of Moth. He's on MacAc. And look under his Puck Mouse video. He take, totally takes it apart, cleans it, and he actually puts an LED in there, uh, lights it up. But everybody makes fun of him because uh, it's such a long video, but he, he <laughs> very, uh, he's very methodical. So check it out. Um, You'll like it. Alright, so I think we got all these little things cleaned up. There's this one little spring that hook there where that spring goes. It's kind of gnarly looking there. Alright, so 
And then some little spots here we'll get. The water kind of soaked it loose here. Get this little USB cable here. Get a little crud off of that. See how this one looks. Uh, that looks actually looks pretty good, but we'll hit it anyway. Just, just for good measure. Here. And it's pretty good there. Now I gotta get underneath here a little bit to get that cleaned up. I'm not sure what that was in there. That stuff is actually hard in there. A little spot just underneath this uh, um, clear plastic here. to get a q-tip for this here but uh let me go down use the canned air on this here i'm gonna blow this off get this stuff off and i'll be right back okay and uh i'll leave the mic on in case the cats make any noise here But okay guys, that's looking really good. I just gotta work on this one little spot, but uh yeah, look at that. It's looking it's still a little wet there, but it's looking pretty darn good now. You can actually see what color it is. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of take and go over here. What'd you do with my paintbrush, Smirk? Hold on there, Smirky. Hold on. Need my paintbrush back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's get this all cleaned up. Hey, brother. Get down there. Okay. All right, so let's uh, get this all dried off here. Push the hair off of it here. All right. So I get a little Q-tip in here and kind of go around some spots here that I couldn't quite get off with the canned air here. But yeah, so I have to Go back to work tomorrow. I've been off since this time last week, so I get to. There's some big old hair there. Just 
try to get all this stuff out of here. I gotta work on that corner a little bit there. So still some stuff in there. But I'll tell you what, it's looking pretty darn good now though. Of course we gotta clean the acrylic part before we can put it back together, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm just trying to get all the little hairy things off of it here. You are just so fascinated by its paintbrush smirk. I'll tell you. Try this off here. Just trying to get all the hair off of it here. That's always the hardest thing to get off a lot of time. Just this little tiny little hairs and stuff. But pretty good though. corner just a little bit but now I think this is all done here now we got to do the back side of it here which I'm going to do right now hit it with the towel here I think it'll just wipe off here let's see yep it just wipes right off Watch out, Smirk. Be careful. Lots of breaky breakies, honey. Yeah. Look at how uh, dirty my rag is. All that, all that uh, soda. <laughs> so, let's see. Yes, Sparky, watch out. Okay, so that looks nice and clean again. No soda on the back of that now. There we go. Um, now what I want to do is I want to take this off here because I need to get behind here to clean that that spill up because otherwise you're going to see that. So let me uh, take that off of here. That's smart. Here, you want to, here, you, here, you want to go play with that? Here, 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 you go play with that? Here, go over there. Go play with it. Go over there. Play with it. Smirk. Yep. Oh, I know Smirk. Yep. Who's that? Watch out, honey. Watch out. Watch out. You're gonna do this here. Pull this board off. I just want to. I need to get this plate off of it here. Uh, what 
let's see here. Uh, kitty, kitty cat, come on now. Okay. Watch out, Sparky. Yep. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, I know you're trying to help me. I don't need that kind of help, Smirk. Yep. Hold on. Watch out. Okay. Move, it, move out of the way there. Don't drink that water. Okay. Going in uncharted territory here. These are all the same screws, so that's good. Huh, smart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna smirky. You being good? Are you being good? Just for the moment, huh? All right, so we got all the screws out on this board. Well, it's interesting how this works. So, okay, so this works. You see all these uh, contacts here. I'm trying to get it up here, we can see it there. Right there. Okay, there's one there, and there's one on the other side here. And they correspond with the contacts here. So that board sits on these, and that's what makes connection. That's pretty neat. And I gotta, and the contacts look good. They're not corroded. However, I probably will do something with them here. I might take a pencil eraser and just kind of shine them up a little bit here. Uh, don't help me now. So what I'm trying to do is I want to take and move this piece of acrylic so I can get underneath there and get that uh, soda spill out of there. I'm just looking here to see. I think that's just glued down on there. Or not glued, but stuck down on there. So this plate here. So I think this plate comes off here. Hey, please don't help me. Hey. I tell you, I am running out of room here. My kitty cats are trying to uh, help me. Uh, no snake, you don't get no ideas there, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Watch out, get down before you get hurt. Gum. I think this plate will just come right off here. Mm -mm, that, was, that one does not. That's not grabbing in there. Yeah. Hang on here. Let's see here. No, not grabbing either. Trying to find something to take that out that does not want to come out that screw. And that's why I need to get out, get that out so I can take this off. Hmm. This can be a problem here. That thing is really tight in there. I have to go to plan B here. As soon as I figure out a plan B. over and see what else we have here. It's 
Sorry guys, I'm not looking at the chatter at the moment. I'm just trying to get this out here. See what we can smoke it out. Smirky. Trying to get the screw out. This thing was put in crooked. Oh, I got it. Oh, good. I got it. Yay. Woo. Didn't think I was going to get it out of there. All right. So... All right, let's see, this thing should come right off of here. Maybe, sort of. If I can just get in here to get that clean. Yeah, okay. Because I just want to be able to get in here to get that clean. So I, I got it pried up enough that I can do that. So without messing it up here. So let me uh, do that here. I think I'll get a Q-tip in here and try to... See if we can get this cleaned up in there. Oh yeah, see it's it's cleaning there. This is what I'm trying to clean up this little spot right here where all that stuff got spilled in there. It's just on the plastic too, it's not on the metal. That's gonna be the hard part getting that off of there. I don't know what it is, but it's it's coming off. It's just might it just try some alcohol here, see if that'll work a little better. Get that to come off of there. If we get that off of there, then we can start putting this thing back together. Let's try it here, let's see. Uh, here. working on it there. Which I think the soapy water works better on it here. Let's try this again here. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's cleaning it. It's under pretty good, whatever it is. Sorry guys, I got my back to you. Just trying to get this uh, cleaned up in here. So there's like a little film in here, and that's what's getting that stuff on there. Hey, watch out. Watch out, you. This little film right here that's what's got the stuff on it so that's what you got to get spread apart here to get that clean Rag on there and get that cleaned 
up in there. Stick that in there. Oh, there we go. Right here, that's right on the edge of this thing. We got it all cleaned up here. I just got to get it down here now. Oh boy, come on, get in there. <laughs> Almost got this out of there. There we go. I got it. I think I got it. Let's see. All right. I got it. Ooh, that's some murder on the fingers there. So I can live with that. That all be covered up anyway, so yay! All right, so now we can go back to reassemble. Hey, don't lick that, honey. That's that's poison, honey. Watch out! Watch out, sweetie. That's poison, honey. Yep. Watch out. All right. Okay, so let's put start putting this thing back together here. All right. relief so let's put this one back in here make sure I get the right ones here let's see here oops there oops there that goes there okay so those Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure this out here. So that goes there. Okay, that goes there. And those one, two, three. So those three go there. Okay, just making sure. All right, so let's get this one here first. Okay. What do you think, Smirk? Yeah? You helping me? Yeah? Let's, um, oops. Let's try something here. That's a tough one to get in there. There we go. Now we're, now I think we got it. There we go. Make sure that's in there all the way. Okay, and we'll get another one in here. Be nice to get this thing all back together. And we're just gonna clean the parts. Don't you can't lick that water, honey. That's all soapy. That will make you sick. No, don't lick that. That's poison, honey. Yep. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, guys. All right. How are we doing over here? Let's see here. Uh, dinner, light man, light man. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, we're. Uh, yeah, the cat would love to to do that. The light there, I'm sure. So let me uh, get this back here. Get this back on here. These are the little hard ones to get back on. Then we can put the circuit board back on. Okay, that's on. I don't like that. That's not gonna be very good. There we go. That's better. Got one more to get on there, which is over here. That's the one that's kind of stripped out, but hopefully we can get that in there. Okay. We'll try to do this very carefully here. Let's 
Smurfy, what are you doing? Yep. All right, so we're getting this other one in here. This is kind of the weird, the weird one here that's kind of messed up here. Smurf, what are you doing? this out. I don't think it'll hurt it. Because that thing is really sh that thing is really stripped. I'm just going to leave it out because the thing is really stripped. I don't have a screw that small to put back in there. And it'll be fine. There's, it'll be okay. Pocket knife works better. There we go. All right, we're just gonna leave that one out because that's gonna cause a problem later on anyway. All right, so let's get this puppy back on here. And that will go here. That string relief, relief put back on this thing too. All right, so let's get the contacts all lined up here. Okay, there's some little standoffs here. We got to get lined up. Right there. There we go, and that one there, there. So that lo that locates everything there. So now we can put all the screws back in here. Uh, uh, let's have this. We're just gonna have this laying down here. It'd be easier for me to do it here. Then hold it up. There we go. That's all lined up there. Once we get one in here, we'll be good. There we go. Put it right there. There we go. All right. Now we get another one in here. Tell you what, these uh, little brass plated screws, they don't, uh, they're not very magnetic here. And usually, they don't have any issues here. Okay, that's back together there. All right, so now we can. Put everything back together and then we're just going to start reassembling it but I'll clean the parts here as I reassemble it here and of course the last thing that will go on will be the keys yeah let's see there we go that's in there yep good Cats are not bothering me right now, so that's good. They have lost interest, so that's good. Okay. And let's see again when it goes here. There. And then we have another one that goes here. Maybe. Let's get in there. Let's see. 
let's see there. Okay. Okay. That's in there, and we should. There's one more that goes here. Then we'll reattach the uh, strain relief here so that we don't pull anything out. And then what we'll do is we will clean the um, bottom cover first there. Okay. Now let's put the strain relief back on here. jacket up here and that's going to go right here on that one that was a tough one going back together is definitely easier than taking it apart that's for sure and we'll get this lined up here there there we go Alright, good. So I've got that back. So that's back in there like so. And they're looking pretty good here. Nice and clean. Got that board back on it there. Uh, Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start reassembling it here. So let's see here. So we're going to clean this part off first here. This thing is really gross. So I'm gonna get some water here. We'll just uh, kind of put it here. Got lots of uh, brown stuff in here. It looks like, like again, it looks like either it's coffee or soda pop. It's kind of sticky, so I'm thinking it's probably some type of soda. Because again, it's make my rag looking pretty bad there. Oh, hi, Alex. How you doing? Uh, you missed the last one there. I guess you had your days mixed up there, huh? <laughs> I had that model keyboard. Uh, yeah. Well, this is my uh, one that I got for a dollar the other day at the thrift store. So now I got two of them. Because the one I have, actually, that I have is. Uh, my original iMac uh, G3 that's over there in the corner and that was the graphite version that was a special edition and anyway let's see uh, I used one of those keyboards for many years now I use a magically I keyboard from the past 15 years time for a taste test yes uh, yeah it's uh, doesn't look very tasty to me And luckily I have that keyboard I can look and remember how to put the keys back on it because I got those all soaking because they were pretty pretty gnarly looking. And I'm just getting this all cleaned up here so we can start the reassembly process here. And it was a lot of fun taking this apart because there was a lot of hidden screws that you had to figure out where they were. So anyway, this is looking much better now. Getting all the sticky stuff off. Toothbrush thing here again. I will bring my water back over here and hit it with the toothbrush here. I'm gonna get some stuff in here. Got a little cracks and crevices there. Seemed like one side was a lot worse than the other. Yeah, it looks better. Stuff there too. All right. Okay, dokey. Coffee and soda and other soft drinks have sugar or glucose, which turns into sticky gunk. 
worst thing to spill on any keyboard. That's absolutely right. Absolutely right. That is the worst. Looking good. All right. Just trying to get the, all the crud out of here before we button it up here. Want to look good when we put it back together. Of course, anything we do will be a huge improvement. I mean, it does have some scratches on the outside of the case on the bottom here. That's to be expected after all these years. Um, that is expected. Wine and beer and spirits aren't any better. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Okay, so that is looking much, much better. It looks way cleaner now. There's a few little scratches on it, but. We got a lot of brown junk off of it, all that soda out of there. So now what we're going to do is start um, putting this thing back together slowly here. Um, what I got to do first, I'm just trying to think here. I have to put these brackets in for that thing that. Uh, That part that swings down on here. And that part looks fine. So we'll do that. Just kind of cleaning this as we go here. I think it goes like, like that. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I was wondering how that went in there. Alright, now I gotta remember how. We're looking at my other keyboard here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, so that's the bottom here. No, that's the bottom. Hang on here, I'm trying to figure this out here. Hold on. Okay. Let's see, so... That, that goes... That way. Okay, it was this way. Okay, all right. I don't remember how this thing went together here. All right, so this goes up. Okay, all right. Now that I know how this goes here. So here. So this goes like. Stop here. Stick that in here. Just trying to figure out how this goes back in here. Okay, so it goes in that hole there. That. Okay. Easy peasy. And then you put this one back in here like this. There we go. All right, so that's put back together there. Okay, just gotta be careful not to 
undo it here. All right, so now this is going to go. All right, so this is going to go. Oh, got to clean this piece here next. So that's going to go in there like that. So we got to clean this piece here because this has got soda on it too. So far, so good. Um, this is going to go over like that. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm just uh, thinking here out loud. I'm just going to lift this up here. Okay. So now we have to put some screws back in here that go through the keyboard here because to take this apart there are some keys that are under the screws underneath some of these keys. So um, just trying to think here. No, I don't I don't, no, I don't remember which ones it were. <laughs> okay, that metal screw there. So, okay, I remember now. Okay. So Okay, so which one's which here? So there's one there. Who's in there? Right one in there. Oh, let's see. I don't think it's the right one. Hmm. I should have brought my uh, hemostats up here. Makes work a, work a lot easier. Let's see here. This one here, I think. <laughs> Let's see. See, the cats were bothering me, so I lost track here. Uh, let's see that that will thread down in there. No, well, it takes a bigger one. Okay, let me see what I got over here. Okay. 
piece that goes on that. So this goes on that. This one here. Okay. Well, that's one of the two different color. That's just the way they were. Okay, so that's in there like that. How are we doing over here? Let's see. Uh, okay. There still okay. All right, so now let's see. Why is this not tightening down? <laughs> kind of like lined up in there, or is it not? Let's see. Oh, maybe it's not lined up here. Hold on. Oh, it's not lined up, that's why. There we go, let's try that. All right, so that's that one there. Put the screw in the back of this one here. That's that's what lines everything up here. So all right, let's try this again here. So this is the hard part because these little things for this fall out. in there. There. All right. Now, standard. Do not fall out. There's some little standoffs in here. It has to line up with that. And that screw goes through the back there. Now see if I was smart I'd put some tape on these so they don't slip on me here. I might do that. Let's see, because these things keep popping off here.
All right, let's try this again here. Had to push down in here. Sorry, guys. Trying to get this thing to line up. Once we get a screw in there and a screw in there, it will stay put. I'm pretty sure this is the one that goes to that one there. It's lined up, it threads in there, just wasn't lining up. There, that looks pretty good. Just gotta get one in here to kind of hold things together here. Come on. There we go. Oh my God, it's funny. Okay. All right, let's get this one in. And that's up a little bit. This one's gonna get slid up a little bit too to line up, it looks like. That looks real good there. Stand off there for that. Yep. That. All right. Just thinking out loud, everybody. Just trying to get this all lined up here. It just goes a certain way. There we go. That just snapped down in there. And we'll get this screw in there. That one in there, and then it should stay together. All right, sweet. All right. So let's take a look here. That looks good there. That looks good there. These are in place. Okay, we got another screw to put in here. And then, uh, let's see here. to the back so there's one here there's one underneath another key right here there we go okay all right so there and that is back together that's in there that's in there okay hopefully I put this together right that I think that's the correct one okay that makes sense. All right. Just gonna make sure this, I put this bracket on the right way. Yes, perfect, good, excellent. All right, so now we're functional there. All right, so now we are going to, see the screw goes in the back here, because we had to take the sticker off the back and this goes right here, like so. And we'll tighten this up here. Let's make sure. All right. Yep, that is correct. All right. Good. So that's in there. All right. I think that's everything on this side. So now we can take and start, um, put this cover on here. So let me clean this one here. Glad you guys are still uh, with me here. I appreciate it. I don't know where the usual, other usual people are like uh, Jay uh, and Mike and Steve. Usually they always pop in. And Sad Mac, he's not here, he usually pops in too. Oh well. I usually don't do streams, I'm just off. I've been off this week, so I go back to work tomorrow, so that's why I just thought I'd do a little streaming. 
I got some videos coming out here in the next couple weeks here uh, uh, on the cube. We're going to be uh, upgrading it, the processor even more in it this time. And so I'll do a video on that. And then, like I said, we got that blue SCSI um, that Steve's going to put together for me. And like I said, I'm capable of doing it. I'm just lazy. I don't. I mean, I'm, elect I'm an actually I'm an electronic technician. Have been for a long time. I'm, I'm an optician actually now. I have been an optician for 30, 34 years, but I've always still been in electronics. And we're not doing that. We are also fostering, well, we haven't done it for a couple months, but we also foster kitties. All the cats that we have, we fostered them and we kept some of them. Um, that's the that's the dangers of fostering kitties is uh, sometimes you uh, keep some of them and Snick and Frederica they're fostered Smirky's fostered I will show you real quick here let me just spin this around here so there's Smirk and there's Reba, or excuse me, there's a Snick and Frederica. And I don't know where Reby's at, and I don't know where Miss Purr's at, so they're around. So I hope I didn't make you too sick there swinging you around there. There we go. There we go. Alright. Okay. So we're going to finish clean, getting this cleaned up, and then we're going to start putting all the pretty stuff back on it here. We get all these little overlays that go on it here. Uh, just getting all this coffee off of it there. There's some up in here too. Try to get that other. So yeah, then after that we just dry the keys off as we stick them on. And it'll look almost brand new again. Got everything off of it here. So, Alex, were you moving when I, because uh, uh, I was asking you, you're doing going to be doing a stream on your gaming, and you said uh, you probably wouldn't be doing it for next week or two. Are you, uh, were you getting ready to move or moving, or are you just doing a bunch of stuff, just busy in life? Quick grab screwdriver. He's cleaning the plastic top now. Yep, I'm cleaning it. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got here. Get this all dried off here. Let's see what we got here. to do first is we have to put some things on here so we have to put the, the pretties on it here so this oops, this is gonna go down on here let's see so this will go there like that This one. Or look at my other one here just to make sure I'm putting it, putting it together right here. 
Let's see here. So let's see. We got. Uh, oops. Oops. As we drop everything here. So the silver silver side goes up. Okay. All right. So this goes down here like that. Oop. I better clean that too. There's some stuff on there. Silver side goes here, like that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And this goes, silver side goes up, making there some crud on it here. Okay, all right. So that will go on there, like that. Oops. There's a little spot here. Get down to the wire here, guys. That's on, and then this cover gets snapped down on top of it here. So let's see here, so this is going to go, so this has to go down here first, that. Looks funny without the keys on it here. Let's see. So this has to go down on this like that. It goes down on that like that. That pops down on there. And then this here pops in behind here. And that's going to be the issue here that we had the last time here. So let's see here. So this has to go down in here like this. So it's going to push down on there like so. to go like that, like that, yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, I think we're done there. Just go. Gonna... Make sure I get this right. Good, half a little bit, good, yep. Yep, looks good. That's in there like that. And we're gonna put some screws in the back of it now. And hold it together. So we have one that goes there, one that goes there, and then we have uh where did those go? One there. And one there. So let's put those on there. And I think we will be close. Then we can start putting the buttons back on it and then we'll be done. Um, so we're going to just put the uh, torque tip back on it here. And I think the longer ones go in here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yep. The longer ones. Let's see. Yep. The longer ones do, so let's put the other long one in. So that'll go in there, like so. And then we will tighten this one up here. And then we got uh, the shorter ones that go here. And that's what holds the case all together here, other than it just snaps in there. But yeah. 
like I said, goes to bed, uh, goes together a lot easier than coming apart. For sure. We are back together. There we go. Case is all back together. Doesn't that look so much nicer now? Look at that. No more uh, sodi pop on her. That's just uh, this. These little things are just scratches on the outside of the case. So that's that's going to happen. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put the keys back on, and then it will be uh, done. But what I'm going to do for the thing, I'm going to clean this cable off with some little. Um, alcohol here. Just a little bit there. This cable cleaned up here because it's looking pretty pretty gnarly here. Wow. Look how dirty that thing is. <laughs> I knew it was very dirty. Hit it a little bit more here. Get all this crud off of it. That looks so much better now. Alright. So alright, so let's start putting the keys back on. So I'm gonna get by the keyboard here so I can look at it here. And then plug it here. So this is the one that I've had for a long time. This is mine. And uh, this is the uh, for my uh, iMac G3 slot loader. So this is going to be my guide putting the keys back on it because I don't remember and I don't want to have to go back and play the video over. So we will do this. So as we take them out, we will attach them. Just gonna clean them here real quick. Dry them off here. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, boys look a lot better, these keys. These things were so nasty looking. You can see they look pretty, pretty good now. They're nice and shiny now. Okay, so we're gonna put the uh, Oh, let's see here. So we get uh, once we get started here. So that'll be F9. Okay. And we're just gonna pull them out and stick them on as we do them here. And all these guys look tired. Let's see. So, and I'm sorry. Let me um. Like this so you guys can see what I'm putting on here. So you don't look at me. And let's see. So this is the uh, <laughs> uh, this is this is on the Mac here. Six. That's weird. Huh. Oh, you know what? Hello. Nine. Duh. Okay. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, there's F9. This is the nine key. Nine key is going to go right uh, just on the right here. That's the F9 key right there. Or nine key. Excuse me. Number key. And zero goes beside it there underneath that. Okay. All right. Yeah. I want to thank you all you guys for hanging out with me. Still going. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it, you guys. Sorry there's not more uh, people here. Um, you know, I, this is kind of an odd time of the day to do it here. Uh, F8 on either side of that. There we go. And I popped these keys off pretty fast. They come off a lot easier than they go on. I mean, as far as time-wise, they, they go on real easy. So, 10 right there. 
everything seems to be nice and very smooth again on the keyboard. I got all that crud off of it there. See you over right here. Uh, what the heck? Like that? Okay, it is the right one. It didn't look doesn't look the same when it's off here. Get a few of them down here, then it'll be easy. It'll go a lot faster. My pro keyboard got liquid damage, and you have the model I did. Oh, uh, did you ever try to take it apart and see if you could fix it? Super drive, but nope. Now it eats CDs. Needs a needs a new one. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, let's see here. Up here, so delete. So nine. That 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 nine. It looked pretty again when all the keys are back on it there. Step on it here. See the numeric keypad. Let's see. Seven right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds real hungry there. have to have the delete key. Yeah. 
Good. Yes, we are going back together. It's nice feeling to put this thing back together here. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's why I got my other keyboard. I'm looking at my other keyboard as the model here. So, yes, uh, that's, uh, but it'll look nice when it's all done. It'll look brand new again, pretty much. Let's see here. So we got that. Oh, hang on. Let's see here. We got. Got that one there. Where does this one go? It has to go this way here. That one in there. It's gonna drive me crazy here. I'm gonna, that is weird. E. Let's see. That one in this one here. Making sure my orientation is right. I don't have to pull them off. This is a function key here. So three here. is the one, two, three, right there. There. Starting to look like a keyboard again. A splotchy one. Okay, hold on here. Let's see. Arrow key. All right. So second row. Got shift key. Got that. That loop right. That one. That. Arrow 
Loki. Z key. Let's see. Shift and Z right there. <clears throat> the tedious task of putting all these keys on. This is where it'd be nice if you had somebody that was uh, drying these for you. They'd go a lot faster popping these back on here. Okay, let's see. ER. Slowly making our way here. Zero. I guess it probably doesn't make any difference which one this goes on. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think this is going to rival uh, Jay's uh, Puck Mouse video. Kind of start looking the same here after a while here. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. All right. So that one there. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. That one there. There we go.
Not in here. Which one's which here? That's the way it goes. That must be the B key right there. The go to the space bar. Z X C B right there. All right. So I'll tell you what, um, uh, I'm going to uh, be ending the stream here in a, a minute or two because um, it's going to take me another, uh, the way I'm going, another hour or so to do this and and I uh, am getting hungry. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wrap the stream up here and I do appreciate you guys hanging around here let me just uh, switch cameras here real quick here and we'll go to the other camera here there we go all right so anyway uh yeah so we got it all taken apart we're putting it back together and then after i get it together i'll post something on twitter that it's working okay all right so guys, I do appreciate you hanging around. I'm, I'm sorry that there weren't more people in the chat, but uh, I appreciate the four or five of you that's been sticking around with me all this time here. And I just want to thank uh, Frederick. Uh, he's been with me a while. And then Craig, he's been here. And then Apples Anonymous, thank you very much. Uh, Alex Park, thank you very much. I really appreciate it there. And uh, that's it. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anybody here. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, you guys have a great, great rest of your night. Uh, and again, I do appreciate you hanging around. Uh, but it was very interesting taking this thing apart. Uh, but it was really dirty. So anyway, yeah. So you guys have a great rest of your night. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next stream, okay? And, and again, thank you very much, guys, for hanging out. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.